Oh, boys, I'm pleased to see you. I don't know where you come from, but uh, I give you all the welcome I've got to offer you. Today we're going to watch a really incredible video, a former slave owner being interviewed in 1929. What's pretty incredible about this footage is, this is from a Rebecca Latmer, former U.S. Senator and slave owner in Georgia, uh, here in the USA. At this moment, filmed April 9th, 1929, uh, Rebecca is 94 years old. It's pretty incredible because her life growing up in the 1800s, we have a glimpse into that life. We can see what she felt, we can see what she experienced, and what's quite amazing is through the power of modern AI, we're able to clearly see this glorious old world back in color. Now this clip itself, it was colorized, so there was one frame of reference that was used for the colorization process, and that frame for the colorization process then became the template in which the AI built the video all around. So here we can see a, a little bit of the comparison between the black and white, and naturally we're going to see the full video here. So let's enjoy the time travel back to 1929, Georgia. Hello, folks. How you feel? Good this morning? Hope you do. I'm trying to get on my feet again. Feel pretty good. Thankful it's as well as it is. Oh, boys, I'm pleased to see you. I don't know where you come from, but... Uh, I give you all the welcome I've got to offer you. And I want to tell you that I'm living on the same ground that I've lived on for 75 long years when I come here as an 18-year-old bride. I went to Washington 50 years and a little more ago. I saw all the people around there and been with the president. And uh, I learned a great many things up there that uh, I didn't know before. I'll add a little more to it. I was one of the board of lady managers for the Chicago Exposition. And I served my full time in, in Chicago and learned a good many things over there. I have been to, I was a delegate to the Tennessee Centennial Exposition. I was a delegate to St. Louis, uh, a juror in St. Louis. I think for a North Georgia cracker of my size and age, I've had a pretty good education on that line. That do all right. I was a three-year-old girl when the Indians were moved from this country to Indian Territory. I have an indistinct recollection of seeing the red men as they went through the woods, for everything was woods nearly at that time. I have a, a distinct impression if a three-year-old child can have it. Nevertheless, I've been here since that time, and I've seen the march of progress all the way. At, my, at that time, there were, we had only stagecoaches, and we only had horses and buggies, and we had lots of footback travelers, usually. Now I've seen it come along all this way, and the airplane goes over this, over oh, my house going up on its way, and it's got to be such a common thing, the old girl don't go even out to see if she can look at it. 